Today, I wanted to give you a comprehensive guide on how you can fix this red screen of death that happens with a lot of plugins in Final Cut Pro. This guide is made possible by Envato Elements. Thank you so much, Envato. And with that being said, let's get into it. So the very first step that I would recommend you try out is just restarting your computer. Sometimes it's really just as simple as that. But if that doesn't work, then we can go on to the next step, making sure that Final Cut Pro is fully up to date. You can check what version of Final Cut Pro you are on by going up to Final Final Cut Pro, about Final Cut Pro, and you can see your version listed right here. But you might not be able to update Final Cut Pro, whether that's you're in the middle of a project that you don't want to risk breaking, or your machine just can't get the latest update. That's where this next step comes in, and that is to backdate your plugins. Now this isn't going to work for everything, but it's definitely worth giving a shot. Now backdating used to be a little bit more complicated, and it required jumping into your motion project using text edit and editing this thing called an OZML number. Amen. But now it's super simple. All you're gonna do is go to the link in the description, go to fcpxtemplates.com, and I'm so grateful they created this motion template backdater. Then you're just gonna go ahead, locate it in your movies, motion templates, and then locate whatever the broken file is. So I'll just do the clone stamp that's broken. We'll jump in here, select our project file, and you'll upload that. Then you're gonna select over here on the right side which version you want to backdate to. So let's say I want it to go to 10.5.4, and we'll go ahead and upload that. Now that we've done that, it's gone ahead and converted the template over. We can re-download the motion template file and reinstall it in that same folder and you should be good to go. So it's possible that backdating didn't work and you don't even see the plugin in your library. Well, it's possible that it's installed in the incorrect folder. Make sure when you're purchasing a plugin, you know exactly what folder it should go into, whether that's a transition, a generator, an effect, or a title. But you can quickly check that if you jump over into your finder, go to your motion templates, and then try and locate the file. We'll go into the Final Cut Bros broken stamp. And if you select it, you can push Command I. And you're gonna wanna look at the extension at the end. This is a .moef, which is for the Final Cut Pro effect. For a generator, it's gonna need to be .motn. For a title, it's gonna need to be .moti. And finally, for a transition, it needs to be .motr. So just make sure that your effects are dragged into your effects folder, your transitions into your transitions folder, so on and so forth. So you've been following along this long, but you're still not seeing your plugins in Final Cut Pro. Well, there's another potential fix. It could be that you need to add .localize to the file extension. Go into your movies and your motion templates folder, then push command I, or you can right click and select get info. Then you're gonna wanna check and see if .localized is added at the end of the name. If it's not, go ahead and add .localized and then go ahead and close it out. Then you're gonna wanna jump into that folder and locate your effects, your generators, your titles, and your transitions. And you're gonna wanna check that all of those also have dot localized. So we'll just take a look at our effects. We'll push command I, check that it has dot localized, and indeed it does. And we'll do the same with generators, so on and so forth, until all four of your folders have dot localized added to them. So you've been following along this long, but still your effects are not working. Well, there are two other methods that I'm gonna try and show you. One option is to go into your launch pad, find the other folder, and then locate disk utility. Once you have the disk utility located, go ahead and select your Macintosh hard drive and then select first aid. Then you're gonna push this run button, which is gonna pause your computer for a couple minutes while it runs through some checks to make sure that everything is running as it should. I do recommend maybe restarting your computer again after you do this and then seeing if the plugin shows up. This can sometimes fix weird bugs that you might be having on your Mac, so it's definitely worth giving a shot. And finally, the very last thing that you may want to try is trashing preferences in Final Cut. Cut Pro. It's really simple. All you're gonna do is push Command Option and then click on the Final Cut Pro app. It's gonna ask if you want to delete preferences. Go ahead and delete preferences and sometimes this can fix plugins as well. Well, the main downside to trashing preferences is that stuff like background render and whatnot that you might have disabled will be reset. So you're gonna need to jump into your preferences again and change all your settings back to what they were before. So I really hope one of these solutions worked for you. And if it did, maybe consider pressing that like button. Now this entire guide was made possible by our amazing sponsor, Envato Elements. Envato Elements is changing the game with their incredible subscription service. They offer unlimited access to over 
55 million assets. I don't know if you realize how large of a number that is. It is ginormous. They offer fonts, photos, stock footage, music, sound effects, WordPress themes, Final Cut Pro, and Motion 5 templates. They offer a super simple license and your license still counts even after your subscription has ended. If you follow the link in the description, you will get 50% off when selecting the annual subscription. Do yourself a favor, my friends, level up your video editing library and get Envato Elements today.